Okay, so let us now go with another topic for our uh, HVAC design. And this is Latin Heat of Air. So yung mga previous lessons ko, uh, upload na sila sa YouTube. The other one, yung psychrometry examples or air mixing, <coughs> uh, they will come out later after this video. Okay? So let us go with Latin Heat of Air. Now, Uh, dry air at normal temperature and pressure are non-condensable. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Uh, hindi siya nagiging halumigmig. Okay, non-condensable. Hindi, hindi ito nag-turn yung uh, due to temperature differences, hindi siya nagiging halumigmig. Or pawis, okay? Ano man yung term na yun sa Tagalog. Thus, all the for practical purposes, only the latent heat of air is the latent heat of water vapor contained in air. Therefore, the amount of latent heat in any given quantity of air depends on the mass of water vapor in the air. So, nakadepende yon sa vapor content ng hangin. <clears throat> Kasi, uh, di ba, pagdating ng inyong refrigeration, ano ba pinag-uusapan natin doon? Di ba ang latent heat, pagdating ng water, yung latent heat na yan magdi-determine nung the change of phase ng tubig. At a certain temperature, okay, magkakaroon ka ng change of phase kapag may latent heat ka. Yung latent heating, uh, yung latent heat of vaporization and fusion, magiging ice yung water, magiging vapor yung water. Okay? Depende sa process. But, you will not have any change in temperature. Only a change in energy. So, the latent heat of any given mass of air can be computed through the use of this equation. So, ano ba yun? We denote yung latent heat as QL. Sir, hindi po lover's quarrel, ah. Latent heat. Heat, latent. Latent heat. It is simply yung mass of the dry air. Okay? Multiplied to the specific humidity, omega. Multiplied to the specific enthalpy of water vapor in air. Ayan. Given by this equation. <coughs> For the approximate computation of the enthalpy, okay, that is Hg at Tdp. But, but, water vapor in air, ha? Water vapor in air, yan. For accurate computation, Okay. Sinasabi dito that Hs or the specific enthalpy of water vapor in air is equal to the enthalpy of the vapor at the given dew point temperature. And is the enthalpy at the saturation and does not include the sensible heat. Okay. Of vapor in superheat region or the superheat condition. Thus, for more accurate computation, dadaan tayo dito. Okay. Hs is equal to Hg plus Cp nung ano, water vapor, okay, multiplied to D, dry bulb minus temperature ni dew point. Where, again, yung Hg mo is given at the saturation, okay, nung Dp, Hg na, vapor yun. Now, yung Cp of the water vapor, it is the average specific heat of water vapor. At 1.88. Sir, ano ba yung sinasabi mo? Actually, yung sinasabi ko po is this one. Tinuro ko sa inyo kanina. Sa air mixing. Ayan. Where Hs, the specific enthalpy of that water vapor is equal to 2502 plus 1.88. Multiplied to TDP. Meron akong binigay ito. Noong mga na nakalipas na notes, okay? Yung SI unit to, yung English unit in-include ko doon. So, what is 2502, sir? Ano ba yung significant figure na yan? Now, yung 2502 is the average enthalpy of water vapor. Average, okay? Approximate or average. Now, also the quantity of latent heat transferred to or from any given mass of air as water vapor is added or removed, tinatanggal mo yun, respectively, can be determined by multiplying the mass of the dry air by the difference in the latent heat per kilogram of air at the initial and final condition. So, ito pa rin yun. 
hindi naman parating pareho ang kanilang condition. Okay? You cannot maintain that. But in order for you, okay, to determine, okay, yung QL mo, to consider mo yung Latin hit at the initial and then the final states. Okay. Where QL is again the quantity of Latin hit transferred. Nag-transfer ka, hindi naman mamimaintain yun. QL, yung maliit, Latin heat per kilogram of air or the specific Latin heat per kilogram of air. UL1 is the initial condition and that is ano, solvable using this one. Yung humidity, specific humidity at 1, multiply mo dun sa enthalpy at 1. Yun 2 as is the final condition. <clears throat> Sir, medyo malabo sa akin. Mas magandang gamitin natin sila sa isang problem. <coughs> Now, ito yung problem. Compute the latent heat of 20 kilograms of air having a dew point Temperature of 40 degrees Celsius. And the dry bulb pala. Having a dry bulb temperature. Dry bulb of 40 degrees. And a dew point temperature. Of 15 degrees Celsius. Assume that air is at standard condition. Ano ibig sabi nyan? Ulitin natin. Compute the latent heat of 20 kilograms of air having a dry bulb temperature of 40 degrees and a dew point temperature of 15 degrees. So you you are given now ng dalawang parameters. Temperature ng dry bulb equal to 40 degrees Celsius. Tapos meron ang dew point temperature 15 degrees. Ngayon STD standard tem STP standard temperature and pressure or standard conditions where P Nung ano, ambient mo is 101.325 APA. Standard conditions yung air mo. Now, ahanapin natin yung Latin heat niya. But, first and foremost, we can never understand anything without us making a diagram of it. Diba? Now, suppose we have a conditioned room. This is the conditioned room. Pasensya na sa drawing ko ah. This is the conditioned space. Yan, conditioned space yan. Now, given dito yung temperature mo ng dry bulb, 40, tapos meron ang dew point, tapos meron kang air mixture dito. Siyempre, sabi ko sa inyo, yung air mixture mo is equal yan sa dry air plus wet vapor, water vapor. <clears throat> yan yung composition ng nagpo-flow dyan sa room na yan. Anong hinahanap mo? Yung QL. <clears throat> how, is, how will you solve yung QL? Now, ahanapin mo po muna dito sa QL mo. That is equal to yung mass ng air Meron ka bang binigyan ng mass of air dyan? Ayan, binigyan ka ng 20 kilograms. Okay. Mass of air multiplied to specific humidity or omega multiplied to H nung, ano, air. Meron ka bang H ng air? Ito meron ka. Ito isosolve mo pa. Okay. <clears throat> Let us go to the process. Okay. Uh, unahin mo muna to, given si DP. So, at your temperature dry bulb, 
temperature pala at dew point is 15 degrees Celsius. Yung PV dito makukuha. So, PV is equal to PSAT at temperature dew point. Based on your ano, based on your steam tables, the value will be, check nyo nga, that is 1.7051 MPA. MPA tuloy, KPA. O, oh, clear na tayo doon. And then, <coughs> PV, PSAT. Okay. Dry bulb. TTPB. How about yung HS natin at ito, enthalpy ng air. Kunin mo to sa HS is equal to HG at temperature dew point. Diba sabi dun sa ating mga first part? <coughs> Excuse me. Allergy. Allergy attack. <coughs> so, HG is at 15 degrees Celsius. Okay, look it up on your steam table. Sa nakuha kong value is 2528.9 kilojoule per kilogram. So, meron na tayong dalawang parameters. Okay. Makukuha natin to, makukuha natin to, yung mass ng air, okay. So, QL is equal to mass of air multiplied to 0.622 PV over PT minus PV. And then, yung H ng air, ayun o, oh, HS. So, we can now solve for the QL. UL is equal to, mass of air is 20 kilograms. Air to ah, multiplied to 0 0.622 <coughs> PV, <coughs> 1.7051, divided by PT, 101.325, minus 1.7051. Tagalin na natin yung unit. Ang lalabas dito, kilogram vapor per kilogram air <coughs> and then multiply to HS ito yung HS natin 25 28.9 kilojoule per kilogram vapor we cancel all the same units so kilogram air kilogram air kilogram vapor kilogram vapor so ang lumabas dyan is kilojoule okay 20 times 0.622 times 1.7051 multiplied to 25289 divided by 101.325 minus 1.7051. Now, the approximate computation Okay? Yung approximate enthalpy natin or approximate computation of your QL that is equal to 538.4629 kilojoules. That is the latent heat of the air. <coughs> Ganun lang po kadali mag-compute nun. Okay? Para mas maintindihan. Now, sir, paano kung gagamitin natin? Gagamitin natin to. Yung sinasabi yung HG. Ito, HS. Okay? Try natin to. Ano po bang ibig sabihin ng 1.88? 1.88 is simply the approximate ano, constant heat at ano, uh, that is the approximate specific heat at constant pressure ng water vapor. 1.88 kilojoule per kilogram degree Kelvin. Going back here. Okay? Another, ano, another solution. Yan. Pwedeng yung QL mo is equal to uh, mass of air W times yung HS which is <coughs> 2502 
2502 plus 1.88 temperature ni dry bulb. Let us solve. Sir, kailangan pa po ba nating i-absolute uh, value yung dry bulb? Sa air conditioning kahit hindi na. Mga, mga sirs, mga mams, hindi na po kailangan. Hindi na po kailangan yan. So, simply, this will become 20 kilograms multiplied to, ito, 0.622 times 1.7051 divided by 101.325 minus 1.7051 multiplied to, yung buo, 2502 plus 1.88 hindi ka kailangan sa ano ah, sa air conditioning. Pero pagdating ng ideal gas, lo kailangan. So, ano ba yung dry bulb mo dyan? I think 40. Ang lalabas dito lahat is kilojoule per kilogram. Cancel mo ito. Cancel mo ito. Kilojoule lang ang lalabas dyan. Tignan natin kung tatama ba siya. So, 20. Okay. Okay na yan. Taas na lang babagoy natin. 2502 plus <coughs> 1.88 times 40. Now, the value will be the same. Almost the same, di ba? 548.7471 kilojoules. This is for the calculation, for empirical equation. Gamit natin to. That is for practical, okay? Practical. Yung nauna mo, ang tawag doon, practical calculation of UL to. Yung isa, approximate. Okay? Ganun lang po kadali kapag nagko-compute ka ng Latin heat. So, pwede natin gawin yan paulit-ulit. Okay? Isang approximate, isang practical. Ang approximate, ibig sabihin, tinansya mo. Ang practical is yung parang medyo ano siya eh, accurate na rin sa calculation na yun. Okay? Binasihan mo yung pinaka-values. Now, also the quantity kasi ng latent heat or the QL is transferred or to from the given mass of air as vapor is added or removed. ba diba sinabi ko kanina? So, how will we do it? Okay? Bigyan natin ng another problem. So, yung sinasabi kong QL na consider mo yung final and initial states. But this type, ito lang naman yung ano, may standard conditions, wala kang sinabing initial and final states. Okay? So that is another recording. Okay? Let us take a break.